Hello everyone, Funshine X here, and this is Computer Craft Tutorials for Minecraft 1.6. Uh, if you haven't already gone and watched the video on how to install the Minecraft Launcher and Forge and the Computer Craft mod itself, please click the uh, link below and go do that. Uh, if you're an experienced Computer Craft player, um, you might want to skip this video as well and go on to the later videos. This one is going to focus solely on uh, kind of an overview on the mod, uh, the items that are uh, craftable in it and, and their purpose. I'm not going to really do any code or, or kind of demonstration in this video. Uh, as you can see in the top there, there's a link that will take you back to a menu. And the menu video will um, have links to every single tutorial that comes out. And each tutorial will then have in the description the paste bin of all the code that I write. So if you have particular questions about a particular part of the mod, um, go check back at the menu and see if I've released a video uh, for that um, area or not yet. And if I haven't, go ahead and write in the comments. Um, you don't need to beg. I'll eventually get to everything. But just say, you know, this is the high priority for me, you know, turtles or something. And, uh, and I'll try and put them in an order based on uh, what people want. But also I want to focus on, you know, kind of basics to medium to advanced, you know, start with the easy stuff and build up as we go so that people that are new to the mod can learn it and uh, be comfortable and not be overwhelmed. So since this is a new series, um, you might be new to my channel and I just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Funshine, or my character's name is Funshine. My name's Ron. Uh, this is a Funshine Bear skin. If you have questions on what it is, some people can't figure it out. Uh, but anyway, Computercraft is a mod that's been out for uh, at least a year and a half, uh, maybe longer, um, by Dan200. And it's a mod that adds uh, computers into the game of Minecraft. So your computer on your computer. And those computers are programmable so that you can write code, write programs uh, to automate things and and to display menus. And um, another part of the mod, which is a very big part of the mod, you'll see next to me these things called turtles, basically programmable robots. And they're some of people's mine as well. Most favorite parts of Minecraft, uh, computer craft, is the ability to program these turtles and have them do your bidding. Um, so that's the mod. I'll go into a little more detail in a minute. Uh, myself, my real name's Ron. I'm a computer programmer by trade, so uh, this stuff is kind of second nature to me. So sometimes I just make some assumptions that people know something and, and I, I shouldn't make those assumptions. So if ever I, I um, say some kind of a statement and it doesn't make sense or it's too complicated, just you know put in the forum, say I don't understand what that meant, or, or in the comments, and I'll try and cover it in the next video or, or reply back to you. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this video, please check the date. Uh, you know, it's 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 July 2013. If you're watching it in 2014, chances are you you don't need to reply to the comments and ask for when. You know, just check the date on videos before you reply to comments. That's kind of a blanket statement that applies to all the YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, let's get let's get going before we get too uh too long of a video here. Okay, so in this house here, I've got my uh, computer craft. We're gonna go ahead and ignore some of this, but we're doing a lot of work in here in this little, in my little gaming room, whatever. Um, in this room, I've kind of got my computer craft museum, and this has got all the blocks and everything you can build in computer craft. It's kind of dark, so I'm gonna turn my lights on. And uh, yeah, let's, let's start with the very basics and work our way up. So the first thing you've got, gray and yellow, what's the difference? Well, uh, when computer craft first was created, you had the basic computer. Uh, it was just mon uh, two colors. Um, it was, very rudimentary in the uh, keyboard controls. It didn't have any mouse input at all. It was very basic. And it, it slowly got added features and, and new things. But um, Dan wanted to give some enhanced things, you know, some uh, better control and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so he came out with the advanced computer. And not only does that have full color, 16 color monitor uh, display, it's also got mouse input um, and controls, which is really cool, especially when you're editing. Um, when I did my last tutorials, I used and um, I wrote most of my code outside of Minecraft and copied it in. And uh, I don't think I'll have to do that as much anymore because you can edit it a lot easier and move around the program. So let's look at these computers, uh, how to craft them. I've just I don't have uh, any other mods because one six is brand new, but yeah, you can see that they're really easy to craft. A bunch of stone, a redstone, and glass pane. So that means very early on in a let's play or or whatever you're doing, you as soon as you get redstone. 
uh, you're basically able to create a computer. So that's pretty easy. Uh, the advanced computer is a little bit more difficult to make because you need uh, seven pieces of gold. So it is an investment to make one of those, but uh, there's not a lot of things that use gold, so uh, it's not that bad. So that's how you make the computer and the advanced computer. I'm going to cover how to use them, you know, and, and write code on them, all the interface and everything uh, in the next video. But right now I just want to show all the blocks so that you can get an idea of what computer graph is all about. Okay, so along with the advanced, uh, c the computer and the advanced computer, you have the monitor and the advanced monitor. Uh, you can think of these as like a computer in a block. It has your disk drive, I mean, it has your storage, your CPU, your display, everything your computer has. Uh, but then it's only just one block. Uh, the monitor's big functionality is that you can build these all together. And I'll go ahead and show you that. If you start chaining these guys together, they combine. So you can get a very large monitor. It's, this is really good to make really cool displays and uh, interfaces. So that's really cool. The advanced monitor uh, is, again, color enabled. And also, it supports uh, mouse clicking. Uh, it's not going to work in creative mode, obviously. Um, but if you were to come up here in, in non-creative and, and punch a certain area, uh, it the computer knows where you where you interacted it with your mouse, which is really cool. You can make touch buttons and, and other things that happen when you touch a, an area on the computer. So that's really cool there. Those are the monitors. Uh, monitors are known as a, in a general sense as a peripheral to a computer. Uh, there's multiple peripherals in the game, and you'll see that in a minute. And all those mean is they need to be attached to a computer. The computer is the brain. It has the CPU and all the thinking parts. A monitor is really just a dumb block. You tell it what to do, tell it what to display. It doesn't really have any control on its own. So uh, they need to be connected to a computer to be controlled. The disk drive, think of it as your hard drive, whatever. I don't want to bats in here to get rid of. Uh, is another peripheral, and this one allows you to... Uh, move around things from computer to computer on floppy disks, which are really cool. Oh, and I did show you guys how to craft these. Uh, because 1.6 is new, NEI is not out yet, so <laughs> uh, you may have difficulty crafting these, but this is just a bunch of stone and a glass pane. So, and no red, basically the same thing without the redstone. This is glass and a red pane, uh, and a glass pane, gold and a glass pane, but because you're using so much gold, uh, Dan gives you four advanced monitors for that recipe. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so the disk drive here uh, just needs two redstone and a bunch of glass to get the disk drive. And a floppy disk is paper and redstone. We'll use one floppy. Any floppy disk can be mo mixed with any color of dye to get that color of floppy disk. Uh, that doesn't really do anything other than allow you to kind of know that, oh, my orange floppy has my games on it. My red floppy has my programs for my turtles on it or something like that. So that just helps you. Um, kind of easily see which which floppy has what programs on it but as you connect a disk drive to a computer then the computer has now access to this peripheral and it can tell things like you know write my programs out to the disk drive copy them onto the drive or you know that kind of thing just like you would on your computer at home um, unless you're <laughs> not uh, old enough to know what a floppy disk is um, well that's probably probably becoming more true and true as, as the years goes on uh, okay, so um, the next peripheral is a printer. Um, this was added, I think, maybe two versions ago, 1.4 or so. Um, and, yeah, the printer is basically to create pages or books uh, in Minecraft. Um, you know that the written book interface in Minecraft is uh, very difficult. <laughs> you know, you have to type and you can't mouse and it's just very difficult to try and make a book. So that's the purpose of this, was to allow you to easily print pages that you could you know, give to players or uh, put in an item frame or something, or books that you can give to each other. Um, so the printer is really cool. Its interface takes uh, paper up in the top. You can just stack tons of paper here. Uh, dye over here determines what color the um, text is that's written on the paper. And then once it processes, it outputs these printed pages. And you again need a computer attached to it to tell it what to do. It's just a dumb block it doesn't know. And you craft it like so. Redstone and an ink sack with some stone. Okay, so I have a single page. What do I do single page as well? You can uh, put them all together and a bunch of them with some string. And it'll 
lump them into a bunch of printed pages. And the order here is determined by how you put them together. It's a shapeless recipe, the string can go anywhere. Uh, but the pages um, will go in the book, or in the, in the printed pages stack, in the order that you put them in here. And you can see you can actually put printed pages in with the thing and it'll just copy them. So that's how to make a lot of printed pages, like a bundle of them. Uh, if you'd rather turn them into a book, you can do this recipe, which is again shapeless. You just need to take all of your paper and printed pages and mix it with leather, and that'll bind it to a printed book. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it'll let me interface, but you know, there's really nothing here because I didn't actually print this with a printer. So that's how you make paper or pages and books with Computer Craft. Uh, and we'll definitely show you how to actually write code for that so that that happens. Uh, the next things are modems. Uh, when you have two computers, you might want them to talk to each other. And so that's why we have the modems. You have both the wired modem and the wireless modem. And you can see these are just attached to a computer. So I have these on the back side of a computer. The wireless is just like it says, can communicate with another wireless modem uh, at a range of um, a certain number of blocks defined in the config file. Wired modem needs a networking cable attached to it uh, to be able to communicate. So you'll see that as you take this networking cable, and here's the recipe, just redstone with stone, you can uh, attach it here and just drive it around. See like that? Cool. It's almost like red powered cabling or build craft pipes, that kind of thing. Oops, we lost it. <laughs> it's okay, we got one here. Here's the uh, wired modem. You can see the recipes are all very similar, just stone and either redstone or glass or something like that. Go ahead and put this guy back on. Shift click will allow you to attach it to a computer. And then the wireless modem. Uh, this got a new recipe last version. It used to be just a redstone torch, but now it is an ender pearl. So a uh, little more difficult to make. You, know, you got to find some endermen and kill them. You can probably, you're probably doing that about the same time you get a redstone anyway. So it's not that big of a change. Okay, so we showed you how to craft those, and we'll definitely be covering how to talk, make computers talk to each other using the the, the modems. And now even the fun stuff. These are turtles. Again, remember turtles I said are just robots, programmable robots, and they'll do things for you. They can move around. They can uh, interact with the world by you know mining for you or cutting down trees, farming, digging, uh, sending messages to other computers, crafting for you. Uh, there's really no end. And you'll also see on the computer graph forums that people create new uh, peripherals for the turtles. Uh, to allow them to do even more things like attach a laser gun to a turtle or enchanting uh, putting an enchanting table in a turtle that kind of thing so there's really cool stuff in these turtles there's really no end you just have to go in the forums and find the one that does what you want uh, so the basic turtle he's a little more difficult to make you got to make a computer which is again just redstone glass and some iron or i mean some stone but now you surround it with iron and a chest and that makes you your basic turtle so you can have a basic turtle in the game pretty early on, but he really doesn't do much other than fly around and dance, right? If you add a uh, modem onto the side, so you want to put it on the, the left side of, you know, right side of the turtle, but left side in the crafting grid, you get the wireless turtle. He's the same thing as a turtle, but he has a wireless modem attached, which means he can talk to other computers and other wireless turtles. Uh, the crafty turtle is crafted by putting a crafting bench next to a, tur a regular turtle, and he ha has an inventory, and you can see most all of them do have an inventory, but uh, as you put things in the inventory, you can say craft, and he will try and attempt to make, you know, craft whatever rest you put in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that, you know, allows you to automatically craft some things. And then new to this version, are advanced turtles. Uh, just like those ones, they are color enabled and mouse enabled. So it, uh, it really helps when you're programming, especially to be able to, to click your mouse in here and that kind of thing. So that's the advanced turtle. And now here are all the peripheral turtles. Again, you've got the mining turtle, so he can break blocks. Uh, the felling turtle is very sim similar, but he can only break wooden blocks uh, and things that you could break with an ax. The melee turtle can attack um, with a diamond sword here. Uh, the felling turtle can also attack, I believe, but doesn't do as much damage. I'll have to check that. 
the digging turtle again he's just using a shovel so anything you can normally dig he can dig up and the farming turtle obviously he can uh, till soil and to craft any of those all you have to do is make the the diamond version of the tool and craft it with a basic turtle or a wireless turtle or a crafty turtle or an advanced turtle so if you want you know the turtle to be wireless and have a diamond sword you can have that uh, you can actually have a crafty turtle that's also wireless but then he's used both of his arms basically so he can't have a tool uh, so you can check if you go into the the menu here what's available for you to build pretty cool okay that is about it um, as far as all the blocks as you look here we've you know they're different combinations of everything but that's everything you can build on computer craft the power now comes in uh, opening up the computer and writing code for it code in computer craft is written in a language called Lua and it's uh, a scripted language you don't have to compile it or anything um, you just you know type in the, the, the functions that you want to run and it runs them if you've never written code before uh, this is a great way to learn it but it's going to be be prepared for um, some difficulty it's not you know the easiest language to learn um, but if you start with the basics and build up you can learn it pretty quick I'd encourage you to go to the computercraft info computercraft.info page and click on the wiki link and you can find you know pretty much everything we're going to be covering in the tutorial series along with a bunch of sample code that people have written that's one of the best ways to learn in my opinion is to look at what other people have written try and understand how it does what it did and then you can start writing your own at that point what I discourage you from doing is um, going to the web finding a program and just simply copying pasting and expecting it to work um, a lot of times it's very you know situational where you know they when they wrote their program they were expecting the, the computer to have a monitor on top you know and you have it on the side it's not gonna work and that kind of thing so you really need to you can you can go get the guy code and use it all you want but I would encourage you to be able to read through it and try to understand what it does um, and how it does it before using it let's see do I want to talk about anything else in this video no I think I'm gonna keep it quick this is just the introductory video again we're gonna start getting into coding uh, next next video and we'll see how to use all these things and and what the mod can offer us again there's a menu there at the top so you can get back to all the other tutorials really easily and I encourage you to make comments in, in the, on the video of what you would like to learn and, and what you're having problems with um, again I'm gonna say that if you have written like a hundred lines of code and it's not working um, please don't go onto my YouTube channel and say it doesn't work <laughs> um, you've got to have a, a lot a lot of detail you know is there an error message that's given out is there you know what happens does it you know just crash your screen what you know, I need to know more info and a lot of times when you have a lot of code it's very difficult to paste it into YouTube so you're better off than going to the computer craft forums pasting in there and say why isn't this working and asking someone for help there so I'll definitely try and help but I'm just trying to give you guys some some advice that I've learned over the years of of people posting on my channel expecting help and I, I just can't give it to them if they don't give me the uh, you know the information that is required so yeah that's it this has been Fudge X for the computer craft tutorial series again this is the introduction next time we'll go into some basic coding and I will see you then Good. catch you later bye